us. Pioneers started on my corner like the cold crush. Had smokers lining up the block like a gold rush. The saying live fast and die young is what they told us. The way that they mold us, perfect way they showed us. How to get money, fuck bitches off this nose dust. Show me how to burn the block down before it slows up. Before the window of opportunity closes up. I is good YouTube welcome back to the channel if you saw my last video you will have seen that my bench did not go as well as planned um, as if you've been keeping up with my training at all I've been doing a weekly sets of four ramping up finishing at like a top set of four I've been trying to go up two and a half kilos each week so last week the plan was to go to 220 kilos 485 pounds unfortunately due to some travel issues I ended up ha coming into the day feeling very uh, subpar. I knew right away it was going to be a pretty bad training day. Um, missed a flight, ended up basically getting no sleep and barely eating anything. Felt terrible coming in and I just knew it was going to be a struggle to hit the, the top set of four. I, even if I missed it, I, I would, would not have been surprised if I missed it. Ended up being even worse when I clicked the rack. Uh, tried to come back for another set and hit a triple, but um, I knew the fourth one wasn't going to be there, so I just racked it. All in all, I'm not too discouraged by it. If I can hit 485 for a triple on basically my worst day, I'm not feeling too bad about it. Um, Claire Zai posted a really good um, post a couple days ago referencing raising your floor rather than your ceiling. So basically, your, your ceiling will be what you can do on your best day under the best conditions and your floor is what you can do on your worst day, worst conditions. And um, the way you turn your, your PRs into working weight is by raising your floor to get that to where you can do that on any given day. And to be able to do 45 for a triple on basically the worst conditions, I'm quite happy with where I'm at. Um, moving on to this week, 
things went much better. Before we get into that, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section below. Much appreciated. And as always, if you guys need help with your training, don't forget to check out Evolve AI, best train app on the market. You can try for free for two weeks. Then it's just $14.99 per month after that, once you subscribe through the website. Programming designed by some of the best coaches in the industry. You also get added to our private Discord, ask questions, get form checks, talk about training, all that fun stuff. If you guys are using it, don't forget to tag myself and Evolve on Instagram. We'd love to share your videos. And link for that is in the description below. Now, moving on to this week, things went much better. So I actually had to move my training days around a little bit. I'm actually about to leave for the airport to go to Oregon for a couple days for work and then heading down to San Diego the weekend for my girlfriend's competition. So I'll be down in San Diego. San Diego. Um, gonna try and get a workout in with Martins this weekend as well, get some tips on strongman. Uh, we'll talk about my strongman training after this, but anyways. So I moved my days around, ended up wanting to do my heavier bench day on Tuesday, which was normally my like higher rep day. Just with the fact of traveling, I don't know how good the gyms in the area I'm going to be at. So I'd rather, I'd feel a lot more comfortable doing um, an upper 400 bench at a place I'm comfortable. And I know that the bench is going to be good. And I have good spotters versus like lower 400s, upper 300s. Um, for rep work, which I can do pretty pretty much anywhere. Um, and that, that day I'm not as concerned about the weight. It's more so just kind of getting the, the training stimulus. And with that, like if I go to, if I have to go to like an anytime fitness, um, I'll just kind of adjust, like the plan is to go like 424 for a set of eight as my top set. But if I'm on, place with the worst bench, I'm, I'll settle for like 385 for a set of eight. Whereas if I was doing the fours, um, I'd feel pretty bad if I could only hit like, I don't know, low to mid fours for my top set of four, especially coming off of a pretty bad set of four a week. So getting back on track was really important this week. Um, I was feeling much better. I was still feeling a little bit tired from the weekend, but all in all, was able to hit my top set of 490, moved pretty well. Um, pauses could have been a little bit longer, but again, I just I wanted the win on this day, so kind of cut a couple of the pauses a little bit short. So next week, the plan is to hit one more heavy week. I want to hit like 660 for four on squat and um, 496 for a set of four as my top sets on bench and then something around 605-ish for deadlift as our NAM wrap on the axle bar deadlift. And then I'll deload and go into another development block. I'm not really sure what I want to change for that one yet, but um, things are going super well. After the 490 for four, did a drop down set, hit 195 kilos, 429 for a set to six. I was definitely feeling gassed after that set of four. Uh, I moved a little bit slower than I was expecting, but. It's still 429 for a size six, so um, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? But uh, yeah, building up the work capacity, finished up with a few sets of close grip and then some incline dumbbell pec flies and finished with some tricep push down. So yeah, training went super well. Um, I feel back on track. I'm actually um, like I said last couple of videos ago, this is probably some of the most fun I've had training in a while. Uh, part of that is because of the strongman training, um, which we can talk about now. So um, you'll see that after this. Basically, with traveling again, I don't know what my situation is with getting to a strongman gym. So I was kind of in between if I wanted to go work out before my flight and ended up waking up early, got a lot of stuff done before I, that I was kind of worried about getting done before I leave. And with that, went to the, air, or went to the gym Ended up just doing a really quick log workout. Incorporated a few things I learned down in Florida, um, getting the elbows up. Went for a top set of 280 pounds, uh, 127.5 kilos. First two were pretty clean. Um, after re-watching the video, I noticed my elbows are like dipping quite a bit when I go to do my squat. Um, so that's something I definitely have to work on. It's kind of something 
uh, I'd recommend filming your set so you can watch that and analyze your form. But uh, rep three definitely got, um, as I started to kind of dip down and notice the, the log slipped a little bit, and that got me out of the groove. Went for the fourth one. Um, it was a little bit better than the third one, but still didn't um, lock it out. And with that, I kind of gave it a minute rest and then just hit one more clean rep, kind of more so of like a stricter press on that one, which actually felt pretty good. So maybe I'll play around with that as an option. Um, finished up with some speed bench. I've been doing five sets of three with a set every minute on the minute. So um, total the whole bench training takes about four, a little bit around four minutes. So um, pretty good cardio. Just kind of has been helping with my explosiveness. It's been, I feel like it's definitely transferring over to my main bench days. Um, it's kind of low impact, but also a really good way to train those uh, muscle patterns. So with that said, training is going super well right now. I'm very happy. Um, I feel good. This is the healthiest I've been in the off season. So knock on wood, hopefully that stays, stays consistent. Um, we've got quite a bit of travel this week, so we'll see how that affects my training. But uh, I'm very excited about where things are going. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy my straw man train. Don't forget to check out Evolve AI. Link for that is in the description below. Like the video, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>
the righteous shall dwell in the land forever. The meek, the gentle, the patient, the kind shall finally be the one.